Hey, Tim, so are you doing some last-minute shopping before the weekend? Well, actually, I'm looking for supplies to put together 72-hour kits for each member of my family. 72-hour kit? What's that? Basically, a 72-hour kit contains emergency supplies. You would need to sustain yourself for three days in case of emergency, like an earthquake. An earthquake? We haven't had an earthquake in years. Well, you never know. You have to be prepared. Hey, if earthquakes don't get you, it could be a flood. Hurricane, snowstorm, power outage, fire, alien attack. Alien attack? Well, you never know. Think of any situation in which you might find yourself without the basic necessities of life, including shelter, food, water, for over a period of time. Um, so what are you keeping a 42-hour, um, I mean, 72-hour kit? Well, you should have enough food and water to last you three days. And you might want to pack a basic water filter or water purification tablets in case your only water source turns out to be a murky pool of bug-infested water. Ugh. Hey, sometimes you don't have a choice. And as for food, you should keep it simple. Food that requires no preparation and that doesn't spoil. And no canned goods because they are often too heavy and bulky. Okay, that makes sense. And unless you have a can opener or the can has a pull tab lid, You'll have to use a rock or something to open them. Uh, instant mashed green beans. Yeah, and cool. oh, energy bars, beef jerky, and a mix of nuts, raisins, and chocolate are possibilities. Well, food might be nasty, but I guess you could survive. Barely. Well, the food doesn't have to taste bad. Just select things that are easy to prepare. And you might want to include some basic comfort foods, like a couple of candy bars. Then you have to decide on the type of shelter you might need. A hotel sounds nice. Yeah, but that's really not an option. The reality is that you might have to evacuate to a shelter, possibly with hundreds or thousands of other people. That doesn't sound very fun. Everyone packed together like sardines in a can, unsanitary conditions... Disease? Ah, now you're sounding paranoid. But if a shelter isn't available, you might be completely on your own. So I always pack an emergency sleeping bag or a small, lightweight tent in the event I have to survive on the street or in a park. Oh, wow. And among other things, you should pack a flashlight, portable radio, extra batteries, a small first aid kit, personal items like a toothbrush or toothpaste. Having a change of clothing is also important. What about money? I have a credit card. Right, like that's going to help you when the power is out. You'd better be prepared with coins and cash, and having small bills is a must. So what do you do to communicate with other family members in case you get separated? Oh, in that case, I always pack two-way radios to communicate with the group. You can never depend on cell phones. Okay. <laughs> Plus, you should decide on a meeting point in case your family gets separated. Well, that sounds like a detailed plan, definitely. Oh, that's not all. You never know what weather conditions you might encounter. So, packing a rain poncho, a jacket, and something to start a fire with could be very useful. Like matches? Matches? You drop those in a puddle of water and you're toast. You need to pack at least three forms of fire starter. A magnifying glass, high-quality lighter, and waterproof matches. Well, I never thought about those either. So what do you do if you have small yeah, kids? Yeah. They'd probably go stir-crazy under such conditions. You're exactly right. So a little extra preparation for them is needed. If you have to evacuate to a shelter to wait out a disaster, kids soon will be bored out of their minds. So you have to pack small card games, paper, or something like pencils and crayons to draw with. You know, preparing a 72-hour kit makes perfect sense. Yeah, but most people think about it after it is too late. Oh, hi there. A beauty, isn't she? Well... Do you want to take her for a test ride? Well, um, how old is it? Well, it's only three years old. And what's the mileage? Uh, let me check. Oh, yeah, 75,000 miles. 75,000 miles? That's quite a bit for a car that's only three years old. Well, once you're in the driver's seat, you'll fall in love with her. Get in. Uh, uh, I can't seem to get the door open. That's it, okay. It could be broken. Ah, just give her a little tap. Oh, now she's open. Great. A door I have to beat up to open. <laughs> Get in. Start her up. Um, well, uh, it's probably the battery. 
I know she has enough gas in her, and I had her mechanic check her out yesterday. Try it again. It's a little rough to me. Well. How much is this minivan anyway? Oh, it's a great bargain today and tomorrow only at $15,775. Plus, you get the extended warranty covering defects, wear and tear beyond the normal maintenance on a vehicle for an extra $500 for the next 30,000 miles. Oh. With a few minor exclusions. Like? Well, I mean, it covers everything except for the battery and light bulbs and brake drums, exhaust system, trim and moldings, upholstery and carpet, paint, tires. Well, a short list, you know. Uh, well, almost $16,000 is a little out of my price range. Mm -hmm. Plus, the seat covers are torn a little. Well, hey, I might be able to talk the manager into lowering the price another $200, but that's about all. No, thanks. I think I'll just keep it. Hey, Dad, are you going to miss me when I leave for college next week? Yahoo! No, Dad, seriously. I mean, you're always talking about how much money you'll save on food, hot yeah. water, and gas while I'm gone. Well, of course I will. No, I, well, I'll miss you, of course. No, honestly. I'll miss you and worry about you, and you've really tried to prepare yourself. You know, I'm proud of you for that. You know, getting a university degree is a real accomplishment. Exactly. But let's go over the to-do list. Do you have everything ready? I mean, yeah. did you pay your tuition and housing fees by the deadline? Yep. Because you know, if you don't, you'll lose your class schedule and you have to register all over again. Yeah, I paid for that a few days ago. Okay, did you sign up for the meal plan at the university so you don't have to eat instant noodles every day? Yep, but Mom said I could take some food from home to get me started. Ah, uh, well, yeah, the oatmeal is in the pantry. Dad, Mom said I could take a bag of <laughs> rice, some canned food, and... And Grandpa's old army rations. Oh, not that old stuff. Mom! Okay, okay. And you know you should set up an appointment to meet with your academic advisor to help you select future classes, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, business administration will be a great major for well, you. Dad... Um... And future possibilities... A great salary, opportunities to make a difference in the community. Dad, I changed support... my major. What? You changed your major? You switched majors? Yeah, I really thought about it. After talking oh, it over what? with Mom, I've decided to major in wildlife science. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, I want a degree in wildlife science. You know, analyzing, maintaining, and conserving national oh. forests and wildlife. Uh, what? Uh, what? Dad, you can close your mouth now. I mean, I've <laughs> always been interested in working with nature. Well, you know that. And this field will give me the opportunity to live out my dream. Well, I've, I've also looked through the online university catalog, and I actually qualify for a two-year full tuition scholarship. Wait, when did this all happen? I can even go to graduate school and further my education. After Todd and I get married, of course. Graduate school? Todd? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Who's Todd? Oh, what's next? Thanks for the credit card. Mom says it was a present. Oh. And I just tried it out to make sure it worked, and I had no problem buying my new laptop computer. No, oh, I'm doomed. And, Dad, where are you going? Uh, I've decided to enroll in night school to get another degree. That's the only way I'm going to pay for your college. Uh, could I borrow a few bucks until payday? I'm a little strapped for cash. Uh, yeah, I guess. But I'm pinching pennies myself, and you still owe me $20 from last week. Oh. And Mom and your friend Ron said that you borrowed money from them this past week. Oh, yeah. And how are things going anyway? Well, not very well. To be honest, I'm really in a hole, and I can't seem to make ends meet these days. What do you mean? I thought you'd landed a great job recently, so you must be loaded. Well, I do have a job, but I've used my credit cards to pay off a lot of things recently. But now I can't seem to pay the money off. Uh, do you have a budget? I mean, how do you keep track of your income and expenses? Well, when my money runs out, I come to you, of course. Great. No, but I guess I should have some financial plan. Well, let's see if I can help you. How much money do you spend on your apartment? Uh, I pay $890 on rent for the studio apartment downtown, not including utilities and cable TV, but the place has an awesome view of the city. Uh, 890 Why are you paying through the nose for such a small place when you could find a cheaper one somewhere outside of the downtown area? Yeah, I guess. Okay, 
How much money do you spend on food a month? Hmm, well, I'm not really sure. I think I spend about six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars? Well, I go out to eat at least four times a week, so the expenses add up. I just don't enjoy eating alone, and I don't have a knack for cooking like you do. Well, I can understand that, but perhaps you ought to buy some microwavable meals you could just prepare at home. Well, I guess I could. And entertainment? Well, I spend a few dollars here and there on basketball and movie tickets, a concert or two, and ballroom dance lessons. Ah,、uh, exactly how much do you spend on all of these? Just a few dollars? Well,、oh, about four hundred dollars or so. Or so. No wonder you're having money problems. You just can't blow your money on things like that. And what about transportation? Well, I commute to work every day in my new sports car, but I got a great deal, and my monthly payments are only four hundred fifty dollars a month. Come outside and take a look. We can go for a spin. No, I've heard enough. You've got to curb your spending, or you'll end up broke. I suggest you get rid of your credit cards,、oh. cut back on your entertainment expenses, and sell your car.、Huh? Take public transportation from now on. Sell my car? I can't. Without a car, what am I gonna say?、Uh, could you meet me downtown at the bus stop at seven? Come on! And you need to create a budget for yourself and stick to it.、Uh-huh. And start with paying off your bills, starting with me. You owe me fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? Wait, I only borrowed twenty dollars from you last week. How did you come up with fifty? Financial consulting fees. My advice is at least worth thirty. <sighs> hey, Dave.、Um, can we talk for a minute? Sure. What about? I- Kind of busy, but yeah. Well, it. Um, well, I'm not sure what to say, but.、Um, well, come on, come on. Well. What is it? I've never known my sister to be a loss for words. Well, <laughs> you know, Dave, I got to be honest. I'm getting really, really concerned about your drinking. What are you talking about? Well, um, it's. C- can a person? Just to have a few drinks without people getting on their case. I mean, first dad, then you. Dave, Dave, seriously, <sighs> listen, Dave. You're my brother. I love you, but you've had two DUIs. <sighs> you lost your last job because you showed up no, drunk. It, it, your girlfriend's gonna dump you because you're drinking too much. I, Dave, you don't understand. I have it under control. Dave, you don't. That was the old me. Dave, you got your last DUI three weeks ago. You can't, you can't keep doing this, Dave. You're going to kill someone. I thought, you might kill yourself. I thought siblings there were there to support each other, and that's not what you're doing right now. Dave, I love you, and I'm trying to help you. I really care about you. And these friends that you hang out with—they're not friends. A friend is a person who's honest and frank with you, <sighs> not these so-called friends, these buddies you got who encourage you to go buy booze for any old party. You just don't know him like I do. I mean, I know him well enough. Come on, wake up! These guys are dragging you down. I've had enough. No,、It's... no, listen, listen. The truth hurts. It stings. Listen, I know. I've seen what's happening to you. And look, you there's know, a. You, you know what? You AA, Alcoholics Anonymous. You can go there and you can meet other people, and they can help you. That's be for、sober. people who have problems. You've got problems, Dave.、Oh, AA, there are no membership fees. Anyone can attend. The meetings are very confidential. I'll even go with you. I'll help you. What do you say? Come on. Right. Like I said, I'm in control. I just need more time to deal with this. It just takes a little bit more time.、Uh, Dave, how long? You can't do this alone. You're not doing it. No, th- I'm done.、Uh, you'll see. You'll see. Dave, no, I can't. I, it'll kill me if there's another DUI, an accident, something. I'm really worried, Dave. I'm done. I'm done. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Hi. Today I want to talk about my mom. Alzheimer's disease and the special care that is sometimes available for such individuals. Now, I love my mom very much, and she is a wonderful woman. She was born in Texas, worked as a teacher for many years, and later with my dad helped build an orphanage for children in Honduras, which is in Central America. And my parents were very committed to caring for the poorest of the poor. Both physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Now my mom has Alzheimer's disease, which is a progressive brain disorder that destroys the memory and cognitive abilities or thinking skills of people. For years, I had been aware of this disease, but I always saw it at a distance. It was something that affected other people, but it didn't touch my life personally. Now that's different. And I rub shoulders with it every day. 
My mom has been suffering from this disease for the past few years. And on top of that, she also has Parkinson's disease, another neurological disorder. Just having one of these is very difficult. Having both of them is devastating. And watching a friend or family member slowly drifting away, no longer being able to carry on conversations or even remember who you are can be very difficult. Right now, my mom lives in a special care center that meets the needs of residents who suffer from such medical conditions. She needs assistance in about every aspect of her life. And the CNAs, or Certified Nursing Assistants, help her get dressed in the morning since she can't do that on her own. My father spends most of his day there, so he usually feeds her. Her appetite has diminished over time, and she no longer can feed herself. Several times a week, a woman comes to bathe her. They often offer activities at the center where she is during the day and evening. And these include singing time, exercise, and even short excursions in the local area. Although my mom isn't able to participate in these like she did in the past, she still enjoys the simple things, holding hands, watching some TV shows, and taking short walks outside, well, my pushing her in a wheelchair. She used to be able to walk on her own, but she isn't able to walk without assistance now. My conversations with my mom are very short, always in the here and now. She can't remember what she ate 10 minutes ago, nor can she talk about things that happened years ago. In other words, she doesn't have any real long-term or short-term memory, at least nothing that I can recognize. Now, I long to have meaningful conversations with my mom, but I'm just happy when she responds to my voice in any small way, like saying thank you or hello. And while I can't see and predict the future, I can only know that if we live each day as if it were our last, someday we'll certainly be right. And thus I try to live each day to the best I can, seeking to show love and compassion to all I meet. And if we all can try to lighten the burdens of one another with a smile, a touch, a kind word. Oh, how wonderful this world could be. Honey, do you know what time Katie will be home? Uh, she should be here any minute. She took the car to pick up something from the store. Okay, I was just a little worried. That... <coughs> Man, what was that? Oh, no, the car. She drove over the mailbox and hit a tree in the front yard. Oh, the car. Well, don't just stand there blabbing all day. Let's go out and see if Katie's okay. Oh, my car. Honey, are you okay? Oh, Mom, I'm so sorry. I can't believe this is happening. Oh, my car. Forget your car. Driving with the cell phone, I know. It wasn't that at all. Don't jump to conclusions. Oh, yeah. Dad, um, Mom, it's not like that at all. I mean, as I was pulling into the driveway, something rolled from under the seat and got stuck under the brake pedal. The gas pedal, I, I don't know, and I couldn't stop the car. And then I accidentally hit the gas when I wanted to brake, and I hit the mailbox. Um, I think I know what the problem was. Honey, did you put those golf balls away like I told you? Hmm? The ones you put under the driver's seat? The ones I told you would get in the way? Man, I thought I got those. Plus, Mom, the windshield wipers on the car didn't work, so I couldn't see very well in the rain. Didn't you get those fixed? Uh, I've been meaning to get those repaired. And, Mom, I was going to use the car this weekend to go camping with my friends, but now my plans are ruined. My friends are going to hate me. What am I going to do? Hun, yeah, what is your daughter going to do? It appears it's mainly your fault for the accident and that she's in such a jam. My fault? Hey, why don't you just invite your friends over for pizza? I'll buy. Mom, we've been planning this weekend for months. They need a car. Hun. What? I mean, man, what a predicament. That's tough. I think what your dad is trying to say is that you can take his new Jeep. Yeah, awesome. What? Yes. Wait, not my new Jeep. I don't even have 500 miles on it. Four-wheeling through the mud, over big rocks, and in deep ruts in the road, if there is a road. Ah. You love your daughter, don't you? Ask me after she returns from the trip. Ah, Dad, I'm going to call all my friends to let them know the good news. Thanks, Dad. I knew I could count on you. Yeah, but make sure wrecking the car doesn't become a routine activity. Dad! <laughs> 
What can we do for you today? Uh, hi. Yes, I'm having a problem with my car, and it doesn't seem to run right. Hmm. I mean, every time I start it up, uh, the engine runs for a minute or so, sputters like it isn't getting enough gas, and then dies. Hmm. Okay, let's open up the hood. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay, start her up. Okay, okay, shut her off. Hmm. So, L- let me look at the book here. Book? Yeah, sounds like a possible uh, fuel line, dirty carburetor, bad alternator, or even a weak battery. So which one is it? Uh, difficult to say. Hmm. Let me try this. <coughs> uh, all right. You need to talk to the mechanic. The mechanic? So who are you? <laughs> well, I'm the assistant. I've only been here on the job for two days. So why didn't you tell me that in the first place? I mean, I wouldn't have wasted all this time. You didn't ask. Oh. Okay, how much is it going to cost? Eh, difficult to say. Well, that's what are, you said about the last thing. Are you local or out of town? Well, I'm just passing through. <laughs> this is the only place for miles. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Man, can't you see my license plate? Sure did. Okay, the out of town rate. Let's see. Okay, here we go. It's a fuel line. That would be 100. Fuel? No, no, that's a local rate. <laughs> oh. Here, 200 for the pre-screening check, 150 for parts, oh. plus or minus 100, oh. and a $75 an hour for labor. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah, today is a holiday, so labor is actually $50 more per hour. Huh? Those prices are outrageous. And what holiday is today? Oh, it's the local pumpkin festival. Oh, come on. I can't believe this. Of all my luck, my car breaks down in this out-of-the-way town, That's and it'll right. cost me an arm and a leg to get my car fixed. Ah, we'll take care of you. Just bring that car back on Tuesday. T- so Tuesday. my car mechanic can take a Tuesday. look at it. Why not today? It's only 11 a.m. Ah, we close 11.30 on holidays. And we're closed tomorrow and Sunday. Wow. And we're even closed the following day as well. I can't wait that long. I need my car repair now. Well, next week is the best we can do. But you can talk to Mike at the Pumpkin Festival. Oh. oh. <laughs> this time will grow on you. Oh, man. Hey, how are you doing these days? Well, uh... I'm okay, but Brandon isn't doing so well. What do you mean? Well, I don't, I don't know. It's just kind of a strange situation. He was dating this girl, you know, Alex. He was dating her, and then he ended up breaking up with her because she was using drugs. And oh wow, well that was a good thing, right? Well, yeah, that was. But now she is really angry with him, and he's having all kinds of problems with her. Like last week. She punched him in the face and in the groin at school, right in front of everybody. Oh, man. So what did he do about it? Well, um, she told him that if he said anything to a teacher, to the principal or anyone, she would get her friends to beat him up after school. Man, this sounds really bad. I mean, you often think of men becoming aggressive toward women, but I guess it could go the other way. Yeah. Yeah, you don't really think of this, but it happens. So um, So what are you going to do about it? Well, first, Brandon said that um, he was just going to let it go, but, you know, he didn't want to cause any more problems. Yeah, I, yeah, I can see that. Then he decided that if she was going to do that to him and get away with it, she'd just do it to the next guy. So he went to the principal and, and the school police officer and reported everything, and now they're going to press assault charges against her. So isn't he worried about what her friends are going to do yeah. to him? Yeah, he thinks that the other people in her group were just going along with her. Yeah. You know, I don't know. We'll see. They're probably frightened of what she might do to them. You know, she'll probably get suspended and have to go to court, but I don't know. He's kind of worried about some backlash. I mean, people have to realize you can inflict violence on others, you know, in any type of relationship or friendship. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, I guess I got to go, but I'll keep you updated on what happens. All right, thanks. Hey, sorry, I can't come to the phone now. Just leave a message. Greg? Greg? Where in the world are you? Hey, man, I'm in hot water and it's all your fault. I thought you said Cindy was single and available. Man, were you wrong? You should have told me that your sis had just broken up with a seven-foot gorilla named Butch. I mean, the guy is huge, and he caught me dropping her off at her place, and he nearly strangled me before I could get in my car. And the guy's dog. You might have warned me about his vicious beast dog. The thing nearly ripped off my arm. Well, once I peeled out of the driveway, the maniac started chasing me in his monster truck and nearly ran me off the road. And man, you could have told me that your car didn't have much gas because it ran out in the middle of this dark parking lot. And now I'm hiding in the men's room at the gas station. Now pick up the phone, pick it up. Oh, no. I can hear the guy outside. Hey, and your phone is going dead. 
Oh, man. You might have told me that this thing couldn't hold a charge. Oh, man. I should have stayed home and done my laundry. And I shouldn't have listened to your wacky idea of going out tonight. Greg. Greg, where are you? Hey, Phil. Uh, why the gloomy face? Oh, Sharon and I are calling it quits. We're breaking up. Divorce what? time. I need to find a good divorce lawyer. What? Phil, you've only been married two months. What's going on? You just don't understand. There are just some differences we haven't been able to work out. Well, you've only been married two months. Like what? Things can't be that bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they are, sis. I thought married life was going to be filled with bliss, but things are really terrible right now. Like what? You haven't given me a reason yet for wanting to break up. Well, okay, okay. Wait. First of all, she drinks 2% milk and won't so switch what? and won't too. and won't switch to non-fat milk. So? She she's always telling me to put the Bring, toilet seat buy two things of milk. Big deal. And she's always telling me to put the toilet seat down in Duh. the bathroom. And 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 she wears the smelly facial cream. Oh, it's so smelly. And and she Well, that is annoying, but but so what? And she sometimes falls asleep with the light on. Oh, oh yeah, and get this. She studies English grammar in her free time. I mean, really <laughs> romantic, right? I mean, <laughs> you know what? So what? It's not a big deal. That's it? Don't you think those are pretty petty reasons for wanting to get a divorce? And, hey, the movie stars do it all the time. What? And, 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 you and want get, to be like them? And get this. She gets upset. When I call my old girlfriend two or three times a week. What? I mean, I'm just... You're calling your old girlfriend? Just to say hello. You That's should all. be calling her. No wonder she's upset. And now, I only have one picture of my girlfriend in my wallet. I got rid of the other three last week. You're still carrying pictures of your old girlfriend? You just what don't is understand. Wrong? Phil, what have... is... Be quiet and listen, Phil. What is wrong with you? You have <laughs> you a really screwy way of thinking about things. You, you haven't done listen, understand. listen, listen. listen. First of all, those character flaws as you see them, they are just habits, personal habits that aren't bad at all. But you are a big part of the problem. What? Calling your old girlfriend, what you, are you, you thinking? You don't understand. Keeping pictures of your girlfriend, you only understand. having one in your wallet and feeling bad. Oh. What is wrong with you, Phil? I'm, what? I'm just... I'm... No, it's, it's, listen. Stop thinking of yourself. You are so self-centered. I'm ashamed that you are my brother. You, I still... What's wrong with you? Uh, still, I just need a good divorce lawyer. A divorce lawyer is the last thing you need. Maybe she needs one, but you don't. Oh, man. What listen, you... listen. You just need to grow up. But... Save your energy and frustration for real problems. Listen, people get really sick. Sometimes people oh. die. When you guys have kids, yeah. you're going to have some teenagers coming down the road, and that's Emma. pretty scary. You're going to have financial problems. You haven't seen anything yet. I think you guys really need to get some marriage counseling. You've got to work on these problems, Phil. Ah, oh, women. Hey, Brandon. Yeah. Um. Um. What? Well, I need to talk to you, and I'm not really sure how to do it. It's kind of difficult, but I kind of I need to talk to you about something. All right, go ahead. Okay, you know, you know, Stephanie. Yeah. You're dating my sister, right, yeah, Stephanie? Yeah. Um, I think she's back on drugs. What do you mean? I, I, I know she had a problem in the past, but she told me that, that that was over. Well, that's what she says. But, you know, I know my sister pretty well. I think I know her better than just about anyone else. And and I know you guys have talked about getting married soon. And Yeah. <sighs> I'm pretty sure she's using drugs again, and you really need to, you need to know this, you need to face the facts, and y you're going to have to deal with this now. So, but I, again, I, how do you know? She's doing some of the same stuff, you know, um, like, well, like, listen, you know, um, do you notice how she's been skipping work lately? Well, she said she's been having some health problems, so I just figured it was that. No, 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 she's not. Are you sure? Yeah, and it's and it's more than that. Like a month ago, she asked me to lend her a thousand bucks to fix her car. Wow, man. Um, I mean, she didn't tell me anything like that. I mean, her car is running fine. I yeah, think. I know it is. It's running fine. Oh, great. Exactly. She's lying a lot now, and she's, you know, she's trying to hide it, and she's good at hiding it. 
and I let her borrow my car a, a couple days ago, and I had 50 bucks in there, and when the car came back, it was gone. She'd, I, I don't know how else it could have disappeared. Man, Pretty sure she stole this. it. I know. Um, but she's hiding things, and she hides things from us. And Okay, for example, like last week, I saw her with the two cell phones, and when I checked the text on the one phone... Wait, then, wait. Two phones? What do you mean? Yeah. Um, she only has one. No, she, she's she got at least two phones. And when I checked the one phone, I saw some texts, and she was talking about um, um, some drugs and needing to meet up with someone to oh, buy them. And I, I'm sorry, Brandon. Um, I we need, to, we need to confront her on this. You need to confront her on this. I, I don't know how to do this. I mean... Yeah, I don't know. I know, but you've got to. You, you can't. The you, you know, you've got to do this if you want to try to hope that there's going to be anything to this relationship. It's it's much better to talk to her openly about this now, because uh, pro- I promise you, the problems will just escalate. So, but she hey, might blow up. She might. But hey, wait, listen. Why don't you guys come over for dinner and we can talk about it together? You know. Um, I just don't know. I know, and you're right, she might blow up, but if you don't do anything, the, I promise the problems are just going to get bigger. She's probably going to end up losing her job, she's probably going to get arrested, and she might even die. Man, you're probably right. I have to think about this and how to approach her. All right, L- let me think about it and then I'll call you. Okay. All right, thanks. All right, bye, Brandon. Mikey, time for bed. Why? <laughs> Why? It's getting dark out. Well, do you want to talk before you go to bed? Yeah. Uh, what do you want to talk about? Um, the zoo. The zoo. Oh, that was so fun when we went to the zoo. What did you like best about the zoo? Um, the porcupines. They were big, weren't they? And what yeah. else? Yeah. What else do you remember? Um, the two giraffes the two giraffes and were they taller than me or oh, shorter yeah. than me or over your head <laughs> they were over my head they were pretty tall and what else do you remember i um, remember didn't you see a, an elephant yeah what about the elephant do you remember um what was he was he eating yeah he was eating and then mommy said something happened with the elephant that he he did something he flowed dirt on us. He did? Oh, yeah. how did he do that? With his foot? No, his trunk. And then you fed some ducks. What color were the ducks? White. And what other animals do you remember? Um. Wasn't there some type of show? Yeah, a bird show. A bird show. What did the birds do? Um, fly. Oh, they flew around. One fly. One, One flew. Were they good birds? Yeah. Were they naughty at all? Well, one was naughty. What did it do? Um, did to think what you eat, the, the man, what it could not do. Oh, okay. And then you saw some butterflies, didn't you? Yeah. What colors were they? After the bird show. After the bird show, you saw them. And were the butterflies flying around all over the zoo? Um, well... They're inside. They were inside? What, a little building? Yeah. And what was the building made of? Was it made of wood? No. What was it made of? Glass. Oh, it made of glass. And couldn't the butterflies fly out of the glass? No. No? What stopped them from flying out? Um, the air. Oh, the air. Oh, there was air coming down? Yeah. Oh, well, that's great. Well, it's time to go to bed now. Sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Hey, neighbor. How's it going? Fine. How about you? Okay. Uh, by the way, my wife and I are going out of town this weekend, and I was wondering if you could take care of some of our animals while we're gone. You know our dog, Jaws, don't you? Yeah, my leg still hurts from the last incident. Hey, he's just a playful little beast. Right. Hey, he likes to bark a little, and his bark is worse than his bite. Oh, yeah. Just feed him a can of dog food a day, and make sure he has plenty of water in his dish. Oh. And then... Take him for a walk around the block. Well, how about if I just throw a Frisbee over the fence to give him some exercise? Wouldn't uh, that work? Then he likes to watch the 3 o'clock soap opera on Channel 4. Huh? And brush his teeth after you give him some doggy treats around 4. 
Man, you really pamper your dog. And then brush his fur and? for about 20 minutes. He tends to shed this time of year. Oh, what? And then scratch him around the ears. No. Otherwise, he feels neglected. Is that it? Well, then there's Claws. Claws? Who's Claws? Oh, he's the cat we adopted from the animal shelter. But he's a little temperamental. What do you mean, temperamental? Well, he has mood swings. Mood but he's doing better since he's been going to the animal therapist. A therapist? So be sure to feed him a half cup of cat food two times a day. What? And don't therapist? forget to put out some soft classical music classical. during his nap time at 2.40 p.m. But don't let him out of the house because he might run away and chase the neighbor's dog. You have some high-maintenance animals. Not really. Well, and don't forget to change the cat litter daily, or he might have an accident on the carpet. Oh, great. And finally, there's Buttercup. Buttercup? Who's Buttercup? I'm afraid to ask. Ah, she's a sweetie. What? If you know how to handle her right. Oh, great. Wait, let me get her for you. Here you are. That's, that's a snake. Hold her. That's a big snake with big fangs. Does the snake go to a therapist, too? Of course not. Ugh. Just anger management class. Oh, what? I'm joking. Oh, Buttercup is a very no, docile creature. She never bites anyone she likes. Oh. <laughs> if she doesn't, you'll know because she'll start hissing and staring at you. Kind of like what she's doing now. And well, I'm leaving. You must be going out of your mind to think I'm going to watch a zoo full of misunderstood animals. You'd better earn some professional help, because I wouldn't watch them even if you paid me a million dollars. Welcome to First Mountain Bank's Automated Touchtone Information Service. Press 1 for banking hours. Press 2 for account history. Press 3 for money transfers. Press 4 for account interest rates. Press 5 for bank news. Press 6 at any time to return to the main menu. Press 7 to end the call. Thank you. Well, I couldn't have picked out a better spot to fish. What do you think? I mean, the water is so clear here. Listen to the birds and the sounds of nature. I mean, I'm not bragging or anything, but I have a real sense for fishing. I mean, I was born to fish, you know, my dad used to say. Really? <laughs> yeah. When was the last time you caught a fish? Didn't you tell me that you went fishing six or seven times last month and didn't catch anything? Well, well I'm not making excuses or anything. But the weather was bad a couple of times, and, an, and, and a fish dragged my pole into the water while I wasn't looking <laughs> no another way. time. No serious? And I, wasn't, <laughs> at, and I wasn't wearing my fishing hat another day. You have to have a fishing hat to catch yeah, fish? Well, yeah, but today is different. Listen. What's different about it? We've been here about an hour, and you still haven't caught anything. Well, well do you think you can do any better? Or are you just going to sit there and continue reading that book? Okay, let me show you. Let me show you. Give me that pole. I'll show you. I'm going to cast the bait out right over there. Perfect. All right. You'll probably catch a tree branch uh -huh. or get your line snagged in yeah, a tree. You're going to see. Some just big wait. shoe or something yeah, like you that. You just wait. You have to be patient. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I got a bite. Oh, man, man, man. Look at that. That fish is huge. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. It is. It is. Help me! Come on, help me! Come on, help me! I'm trying to roll it in! Help I, I, me! I gotta go back to the no, car. No, look, look at that thing jump! Go get the net! Get the net! Well, no, come on, that, you gotta help me catch it! That's beginner's luck. No, come on! Whoa, I got it! Look at that! What are you gonna say now, huh? huh? <laughs> what are you gonna say? <laughs> Nothing! So look who's teaching who. I'm gonna remember this day forever. <laughs> Forget it! Hi, may I help you? Yeah, um, you see, I need some flowers for my wife, and, uh, you know, let, uh... Let me guess, you forgot your anniversary, oh. you're trying to make things up, right? Oh, is, yeah, is it that obvious? Well, yeah, we see men like you all the time, that are so involved in the work that they simply forget about us. <sighs> well, it, 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 in this case, it's not like that. Sure, what do you need? Well, uh, I'd like to get a dozen roses with some greenery and a very nice card. 
Do you really think a dozen roses is going to cut it? Well, yeah. I mean, if my husband forgot her anniversary, he'd be in the doghouse for sure. Well, you need at least two dozen roses, a dozen oh. balloons, and a romantic evening uh, at an expensive oh. restaurant. Well, I only have ten dollars. Ten dollars? And- yeah. Well, that will buy you a single rose and a hamburger at McDonald's, but that's it. Uh, wait. I actually have twelve dollars, and uh, wait, hang on, let me see here. Thirty-two cents. So that might be. Forget playing golf this weekend. Your wife is way more important. Oh no! Oh no! My wife is out in the parking lot looking for me. Oh, and and she's looking this way. Please, please help me. She'll wring my neck for sure. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Um. Please, please. Well- well, it looks like I can arrange a small bouquet of roses. Okay. A couple are a little wilted. No, that's okay. But that's the best I can do. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's and, fine. And I can also attach a small card and tie a nice ribbon around the flowers. Oh, that would be great. You're a lifesaver. I'll put you on my Christmas card list forever. Okay. Okay. That'll be $12 even. Oh, you're an angel. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no. What? Now she's parked in front of your store waiting for me. I'm dead meat. Do you have a back door? No. It looks like you need to face the music and just talk to her. I can't. I can't. She'll probably be very understanding. After you promise to wash... You don't know my wife. Well, you need to promise to wash the dishes and clean the bathroom for the next six months. Get out there and be a man. Could you call an ambulance just in case? This could get ugly. Man. Hey, Henry. How's everything going? And what's with the flowers? They're for my wife. Oh, a wedding anniversary or something? To tell the truth, it couldn't be worse. Oh. You see, I have to pick up my wife from the airport this evening, but while she was gone, there were a few minor mishaps. Oh, really? What happened? Well, I had some of the guys over Friday night to watch a basketball game on TV, but one of them got all excited and started horsing around, waving his arms, and he accidentally knocked over my wife's 250-year-old Chinese porcelain vase given, oh, to her, no. given to her by her grandmother and it broke beyond repair. Man, have you tried super glue? Yep. But she would be able to tell in a second I was trying to pull something over her eyes. Oh, wow. You're in hot water now. If it had only been that. Oh, there's more? Yeah, you see, the water from the vase spilled all over the manuscript of a book my wife has been writing for the past two years and blurred the ink over many of the pages. Oh, no. And so one of the guys had the bright idea of drying the pages by the fire while we watched uh, the rest of the game, but a spark from the fire must have blown out and burned the manuscript to a crisp. (laughs) But what about electronic file copy? had one, didn't she? Well, actually, her computer crashed the day before while I was playing some computer games, and I haven't been able to get it to work (laughs) since. Man, are you in trouble now. (laughs) You're going to have a hard time digging yourself out of this one. Yeah. Oh, so I get it now. You're buying the flowers for her as a part of some kind of peace offering, right? No, not at all. They're for my funeral. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Hyde. So what seems to be the problem today? Well, I just came in for a checkup and a dental cleaning. Hmm. Open up and let's take a look. Okay. Uh, mm. uh, 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 wow, I've never uh, seen one like this before. Uh, Let me try this. Uh, 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 well, besides uh, a lot of plaque buildup, uh, there's a major cavity in one of your wisdom teeth. I feel like... Hasn't this given you any trouble? Well, the tooth has been bothering me, and it sometimes hurts when I drink something cold. Does it look that bad? Well, we're going to have to remove the decay, and then we'll either put in a filling, or if the decay is extensive, we can't repair it. You might have to put in a crown on your tooth, or as a last resort, we'll have to extract the tooth. Uh, Oh, well, that sounds painful. Don't worry. I've done this once before. (laughs) Huh? Nah, just relax. Wait. Aren't you supposed to give me something to dull the pain? Uh, chicken. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. We can either use local anesthetic or nitrous oxide. Huh? Laughing gas. Oh. To minimize the discomfort you might feel. Well, or you can just grin and bear it. No, 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 no. Put me under. Yeah, I can't stand so. pain, and I'd rather not be aware of what's going on. And if I need a filling, can I get one that looks like my other teeth? If we can save the tooth with a filling, I recommend the high-strength silver alloy filling hmm. instead of the porcelain one. They'll probably last a lot longer. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Let's get it over with. Okay. Pleasant dreams. Drill, please. Hi, Tim. Hi. I'm really sorry to hear about your dad. My sincerest condolences go out to you and your family. 
He was such a great man. Thanks. As you know, he had been sick for some time before he passed away, so we were somewhat prepared. So, how is your mom taking it? Oh, it's been really hard on her. I don't think you'd get over something like that. Yeah, I'm sure. My heart really goes out to her. Thanks. Uh, so, how is your mom going to be able to manage things alone? Well, financially, mom will be able to live a secure life from now on. I mean, dad had life insurance and substantial investments in property and stocks, so returns on those should take care of her. That's good to hear. But our main concern at this moment is her emotional state. Yeah. She's really down, so a call now and again should brighten her day. So, what are the funeral arrangements? The obituary in the paper didn't mention much about the funeral. Well, some of the family members will get together on Tuesday morning for a private memorial service, but there will be a viewing in the afternoon from two to three, followed by a funeral service. One of my uncles will be giving the eulogy. I wish there was something I could do for you. Well, actually, there is. Oh. You know, Dad really admired you a lot, and before he died, he asked if you'd sing a musical number at the funeral. Really? I'd be honored. It would really mean a lot to the family. Sure. Then see you on Tuesday. Okay. See you then. Are you looking for appliances or furniture to give new life to your home? Look no further. Here at Frontier Furniture, we have everything you need to give your home a new look and feel. Stereos, video machines, refrigerators, light fixtures, dining room tables, washers and dryers. You name it. We have it. Low on cash? We have an easy rent-to-own plan that will put you in your favorite sofa tonight. Big color TVs as low as two hundred and twenty-five dollars. Digital pianos starting at three ninety-nine. King size beds from two hundred and fifty dollars. Free delivery on all major appliances. So come on down to Frontier Furniture, located downtown, two blocks east of City Hall, across from Union Square. We're open daily from ten a.m. to nine thirty p.m. So come on in and let us make your dream home a reality. Hi, welcome back to Susan's Gardening Show. I'm Susan, and we're ready to take our next caller. We have Mark from Seattle. Are you still there, Mark? Uh, yeah, but maybe not for long. So, how can we help you today? Okay,、uh, my wife is really into gardening, and about five years ago, she received a beautiful climbing rose bush. I think an Agatha Christie. Ooh, that's a nice one. From her mother, who has passed away. And anyway, the rose plant seems to be on its last leg. Really? Normally, that rose is really quite hardy. I know. It's very disease resistant.、Too. I know. So, But, what's the problem? Well, this situation isn't normal. You see, about a week ago, I was doing some yard work, and I was using some weed killer. Oh. Yeah, to try to get rid of some terrible weeds. And did you spray the roses? Well, not <laughs> not exactly. I set the spray container down near the roses while I was trimming a bush, and the container must have gotten knocked over, and the weed killer soaked into the ground near the roses. How much weed killer are you talking about? Uh, about six or seven quarts. Uh, oh, that's I a think <laughs> you know. I, I mean, when you that's put... a lot. How、yeah. are the roses? What do they look like now? Oh, dead, real dead, dead as a doornail, <laughs> dead. But my wife hasn't seen them yet. Ha- really? Yeah, and I. <laughs> What have you done? Blindfolded her? <laughs> well, I've kept her away from that side of the house where the roses are. She's bound to see them at some point. Yeah, yeah, you've got I, a problem. I mean, is there anything I can do to revive them? Not unless you're a magician. Well, can you recommend a quick-growing variety that can take its place? Mark, I'm sorry, you've made a mistake, a big mistake. Except that my wife warned me this could happen. <laughs> oh man! Listen, you made a blunder, a big mistake, a really big mistake. And, but unless your wife goes on vacation for a couple of years, you're not going to be able to replace the roses that fast. So, any recommendation? I mean, what do I do? You need to talk to her. Are you kidding? Are you you don't <laughs> know my、sorry. wife. Look,、oh. you've waited long enough. Don't let the grass grow around your feet. Say something, but be sure to hide the garden shears before <laughs> you do. <laughs> Kneel down. Ask for her forgiveness now. But that's what I did when I killed her prize apple tree last、no、year. Really? <laughs> oh man! Oh, 
She's coming in from outside. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, all no. Right. One final word. Hide the weed killer. Oh, Thanks, but... Mark. That's all the time we have for now. Let's move on to our next caller. Ron, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. I'm just looking up some information on the Internet. Like what? Let me see. No, no, it's okay. I mean, you know... Baldness? <laughs> what are you looking that up for? Well, you know... Uh... I, I mean, you're not that bad off. Ah, uh, there you go. Bringing it up again. No, I mean it. You look great. Honestly, it's not that bad. Hey, I get enough of it from friends and, and the people at work and now from you. Well, maybe you could wear a toupee. I think you'd look great. Oh, no. And have it slip off my head onto my date's dinner plate as they lean over to kiss her? Uh-uh. Well, have you ever thought about seeking medical advice? There are new advances in medicines that not only retard hair loss, but help regenerate new growth. Uh, I still don't give much credibility to medical treatment to prevent permanent hair loss. Well, what about accepting the fact that you're just losing your hair? Uh, I just can't give up hope. I know appearances shouldn't matter, but I don't know. I just feel that women just avoid me. Come on. You can't be serious. Oh, really? I've seen it many times. It just... Uh, I don't know. Hi, welcome to Joe's Hamburger Restaurant, Hi. home of the one pound super deluxe hot and spicy cheeseburger. Will this be for here or to go? Uh, to go. Okay, what would you like today? Would you like to try the one pound super hot and spicy cheeseburger? I don't think so. I'd probably have heartburn for a week after downing that monster. Well, it's our house special this week, and yeah. it comes with fries and a large specialty drink called Everything But the Kitchen Sink. A what? Everything but the kitchen sink? What in the world is that? Well, it's a little mix of everything in a large cup. Pepsi, Sprite, Fanta Orange, and lemonade with crushed uh, ice and a scoop of ice cream. Now, that sounds disgusting. Uh. Hey, hey, it'll grow on you. Nah, I think I'll just order a hamburger with some mustard and lettuce and a glass of water. Boring. Hey, would you care <laughs> for anything else like a side order of amazing cheesy onion rings? No, thank you. Onion rings usually don't agree with me. Hmm. Okay. Your total comes to ten ninety. Ten ninety for just a hamburger? You gotta be kidding. Well, the one pound super deluxe hamburger is nine dollars. Hey, I didn't order a one pound burger. I just wanted a simple burger. That's mm. all. Well, sir, Joe's Hamburger Restaurant only serves one pound burgers. Man. The one pound super hot and spicy. Ooh. The one pound barbecue burger oh. and the one pound bacon cheeseburger. The one pound... No, no, those are all huge. Well, sir, if you really want something smaller, yeah, you should order from the kids' menu. The half-pound super hot and spicy burger, uh, the half-pound barbecue burger, no. the half-pound bacon cheeseburger, the, the half-pound... No, those are still giant burgers. Well, in these parts, we are hearty eaters. Okay, but you said my total was ten ninety, but the burger only comes to 10 bucks. What about the other 90 cents? Hmm... Well, sir, we only serve natural spring water from yonder hills. And, okay, okay. I'll take the giant burger and a bottle of your spring water. The sandwich should feed me for a week.